Yeah. 모두 다 빨리 박수 쳐 기다리지 말고 서둘러 무슨 내란 밝혀서 to feed you raps I see that you are 배불러 So fly Whitlock, Steve Kim. Steve, I want to talk to you about our girl, Caitlin Clark. She's back in the news. ESPN has offered, or not ESPN, ESPN has reported that Ice Cube and the Big Three <laughs> have offered Caitlin Clark $5 million to play in the Big Three. Uh, you might like it. I absolutely love it. I think this is brilliant by Ice Cube and the Big Three. Let me read Ice Cube's tweet. Uh, we, in we intended the offer to remain private while Caitlin Clark plays for the championship, but I won't deny what's now already out there. Big Three made a historic offer to Caitlin Clark. Why wouldn't we? Caitlin is a generational athlete who can achieve tremendous success in the Big Three. Whoa. Steve, I, I love this. I, I think... I think this could be the wave of the future. You put a woman uh, on each big three team, and you, oh, you it's geez. a three-on-three -three league, and there's a woman on the court at all times, one of the three players. You're telling me you wouldn't watch Caitlin Clark playing the big three against men? you telling me you wouldn't watch that? You're now turning Ice Cube's league into the DI3 versus DI3. <laughs> Really? So now every team has to have a female player. What is this? Intramurals at PE class? Come on. I look. You're telling me you wouldn't watch? For five minutes. And that's it. And I'd let you fill me in. I just I just go on your timeline on Twitter. I'd scroll through. I said, okay, okay. All right, I got the gist of it. <laughs> That's it. That, that's, I mean, Jason, here's the thing, though. From a practical standpoint, pure basketball, who is she going to guard? Who is she? Another I, I woman mean, if eventually, just, but. No, 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 no. It's no, three we're not on doing three that. basketball. It's three on three. She'll get completely exposed. She may not even get her shot off if she's playing against men. Now, under your idea, the DI3, I get it. Now, okay, she can pick on a weak spot, the other females. But if she's going against strictly against men, because I haven't heard of any other person like Juju Watkins. Oh, my God. I can't believe I actually know a second woman's th this this show. This show has had a very bad influence on me. But the fact that nobody else, OK, is being offered your idea is not in play yet. Now, historically, I believe there have been women that have played against men in professional leagues. Not the NBA, but I think Nancy Lieberman, I believe Ann Myers. Uh, look at me, the college women's college basketball historian that I am. You know, call me uh, Dick Vitale of that thing, right? But Jason, she would get physically and athletically overmatched in this three-on-three -three format against men. Would you admit that? Against men, yes. But, yes, there we go. But so there not go. so bad that she couldn't oh. be out on the court with those guys for a while. Oh. And by the way, Ann Myers, I believe, had a tryout with my Indiana Pacers when I was a kid, if memory serves, and it didn't go well. Uh, but but uh -huh. it's a half-court game. It, 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 it's, it's Again, we're not – like the defensive intensity of the big three isn't incredible. And, and oh, it I, would be for here's her. where the prop – Oh, oh, Jason, whoever gets matched up with Caitlin Clark, they will suddenly become Michael Cooper, Bruce Bowen. Trust me. Which guy out there wants to be embarrassed? Oh, man, that guy got lit up by 30 for Caitlin Clark. Come on. You don't think the male ego would suddenly motivate these guys? Come on, Jason. I do think they would probably have to tweak the rules a little bit. Oh, okay. I, Here we go. I bet you, I'm telling Well, the NFL's tweaking every rule. Why can't the big three? The big three's only been around for four or five years. They can tweak their okay. rules if the NFL can so tweak under the his. Whitlock. Okay, hold on. Under the Whitlock regulations, when Caitlin Clark gets the ball, you must stand within five feet of a radius. So wherever she goes, we're just no, going to have like a moving no. radius for Caitlin Clark. See, this is a farce already. No, farce. no, 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 no. What, what they'll do is the tweak they'll make, because we're, look, when she's got the ball and she's out on the court, when she's on offense, they can play normal, regular defense. Where she could get crushed is if they allowed men to post her up. 
And so I think they would, they would, whoever she's guarding wouldn't be allowed to post up. Uh, and so th that's the kind of rule tweak or whoever has the assignment with Caitlin Clark or whoever she's the guard that she's guard can't post her, you know, Royce White or someone taking her down to the low post. That would be an ugly, ugly uh, <laughs> affair. But I mean, if, Jason, if, here's the issue. Yeah. If I am a connoisseur of women's basketball, which you have become, which I'll never become, and you want the game to succeed, the last thing you want is her to be exposed in any other league. You want the WNBA and the college women's basketball sphere to be bigger, to be more relevant. You don't want this. The last thing you need and want, Jason. Just telling you, it's the worst idea for the movement of women's basketball, in my view. No, listen, here's, here's what you, I believe what Ice Cube is doing, and I think it's smart. He's going to disrupt the entire WNBA. If he gets a handful of women involved in the big three, the WNBA is toast. It, it no longer has a purpose. Let them all go play overseas somewhere and take 10 to 20 of these uh, young ladies uh, and put them in the WNBA. The, the smaller guy, you know, the people, the girls, 6'3 and below, that can handle the ball a little bit, have them in the big three. That will, that's the pro league for the uh, super elite women's college basketball players here in America. WNBA basically goes away, becomes more irrelevant. College players stay in college for four or five years, build their brands and come into the big three. Look, this is a brilliant move. I think Ice Cube and the big three are gonna get a bunch of money, corporate money thrown at them for this idea. And, and where the only issue is going to come in is like Caitlin Clark is worth $5 million. She is. A handful of these other women may be worth $250,000, $300,000. They may be upset about how much Caitlin's getting paid. And some of the male players may be upset about how much Caitlin's getting play, paid. But if they stay the course in two years from now, three years from now, the, the big three is a big force and everybody's getting paid. And Caitlin Clark has created a new form of summer basketball that a lot of women, and again, they may expand to get 20, 25 teams because of this concept. I think people, and you guys that are watching, hop in the comments and tell, wouldn't you watch, Steve Kim is crazy, he'll watch too, he's lying right now, no. or he doesn't know what he's talking about. He would watch these women play against men in the big three. It would. I don't watch the big three now. I would certainly watch this, and I don't think I'm alone. Okay, so hold on. You said the WNBA would become more irrelevant. Didn't know that was yeah. possible. Okay, didn't know that was actually <laughs> possible. Okay, but I'll take your word for it. The other thing is, strategically, let's just go back. I just want to backtrack a little bit. Okay, so you can't yeah. post her up. Here's the problem. Could you imagine her trying to take a charge? Well, she had to be the help side defense, whatever that is in a three-man league. Oh, my God. It'd be like her running into an Amtrak. Poor Caitlin. The other thing is, this is the funniest thing. Let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. And I don't know the answer to this question, so I'm asking it blind. Do you think you could take a charge in the big three any more safely than Caitlin Clark? At six. Two and a half, 215 pounds of chiseled yellow steel. Yeah, I could take it better. Okay, would I be like Korean Derek Fisher? No, but there, there, there's bone density. There's lean mass. So yes, now could I play basketball like Caitlin Clark? No, but I can't play basketball. So let's go back to this whole notion. Do you remember when, um, this is about three, four years ago. Boy, time flies now. Remember when old Ice Cube, old O'Shea Jackson, went on Video Soul with those four bitter, nasty women talking about his Trump platinum plan or he wanted to team up with Trump or at least talk to him? See the way they treated him and the way he just backed down? He, he was no longer America's most wanted. The backlash he's going to get for paying Caitlin Clark a white girl? Oh, my God. He's going to get hammered in these streets. He really is. He's going to have to get some sisters or those girls, those, those old washed up hens 
They're not going to be happy with him. Oh, boy. Jason, this is why you bring me here. I think of this stuff. Am I wrong or right? Come on, Jason. This is going to be... Can we hop in the comments the right thing. now? And Should I be offended? or should, Will people be no. offended by those old, no. washed-up hens? Did Steve step out of bounds? Please leave a comment. I probably did. You know what? I probably did, but I mean every word of it. And the thing that I didn't like was Ice Cube just backed down to... Oh, well, you know. Hey, Cube, come on, man. If you believe in the plan, you should have stood up in that old line that he had from Boys in the Hood. Remember when he pulled out the gun at the, at the, we got a problem here? We got a problem here? He didn't do that. And I'm like, bro, what happened to you? What happened? So I'm just telling you, there's going to be backlash for offering all of that, those millions to that milk of magnesia. I'm just telling you, there's, there's issues here. Issues all over the well, place. Well, I can definitely see the Brittany Griner crowd is, is mm, definitely mm, going to be mm. upset. You know, yes, she did all that time you. in a Russian prison for right. American freedom. How come Ice Cube ain't offering her five million dollars? Uh, there you go. You know, I'm telling you, I made a good point. It was out of bounds, but still a good point, Jason. <laughs> Tell it is. Well, uh, someone's got to land an interview with uh, Cheryl Swopes as soon as possible and get her take on this. I can't Ooh. wait to hear Cheryl Swoops, Swoops' oh, take God. on this. Oh, my God. there it is. Man, oh, gee, she's <laughs> not going to be happy with this. Oh, my God. So what did you call it? The big D-I-E? Is that what you called it? Yeah, the I'm, big D-I-3. The, the big whole D-I-3. notion that, yes, what is this? A, a company softball game where everybody has to play and marry from a county. You got a sticker in left field and hope to God that nobody hits the ball the other way. That alone right there already takes away my interest. It does. It, it, All right, I'm just so we got you. the title for this, Big DI3. Love it. Mine. Uh, thank you, Steve. Uh, great thank job. You. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.